When we do experiments, we often use tables to record and organize data. Let us learn how to draw a table. Look at the example here. A student heated 100 cubic centimeters water with a non-luminous flame. He measured the temperature of the water every 0.5 minute for 3 minutes. The results are shown below. We now try to draw a table to organize the data. First, think about how many columns and rows are needed. Note that columns are vertical, while rows are horizontal. In this example, the table should have two rows for the two variables, time and water temperature. There are seven data. Including the column for the variables, the table should have eight columns. Draw the table with a ruler. List the variables in the first column. Write the independent variable first, which is time. Then the dependent variable, which is water temperature. Write the units. The unit of time is minute. The unit of water temperature is degree Celsius. Record data in other columns. Note that we don't have to write the units again. The table is now done. The table can also be presented vertically. The variables are listed in the first row. Data are recorded in other rows.